But I think um, we regathered the thoughts and leadership on the field was good. And we came away with that uh, score before half time, which was vital for us going into the change room. Uh, certainly the players um, reacted very well after half time, I thought. Um, the changes of subs that came on, boys made an impact. And it was very nice to get the, uh, get the result at the end. What was your view on the red card, second one of the week against you, Zander Ferguson? Yeah, look, I think the officials, when you look at it, um, you know, there's nothing else they can really do. The, the law's pretty, pretty clear cut now, and uh, it's just one of those unfortunate things. And uh, I guess, um, you know, players are going to have to look very carefully at, at how they enter those rucks. Lewis Rees Summit, two tries, helped create another one. Great kick at the end. What a performance. Yeah, certainly he, um, with the ball, was was exciting, wasn't he? Um, took his opportunities very well. Played well with, uh, as I say, with the ball in hand. He's still got work to do in his game, you know, and that's the exciting thing, um, you know, without the ball. And, uh, you know, he's going to be a very, very exciting player going forward for us. And what did this mean when, uh, this win mean for you and the coaching staff, uh, Wayne? is so tight and a, an away win and two from two in the Six Nations. Yeah, well, it's a very pleasing start, isn't it? You know, um, with the uh, the short turnaround, uh, two weeks in camp together, longer than normal with the uh, the COVID rules, and you know I just think it was it was a great result for our team, our group, and to uh, to sort of go deep into the squad as as well, and in certain positions with the injuries that we've had, uh, it bodes well for the future, and I think um, you know it's it's good, it's been a really good squad effort over the last two weeks. And England next on the twenty seventh. You've got a week off now. Um, how much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, a week off a game, but uh, we'll still be in at work and reviewing the performance tonight and look at the areas of, the, of our game which we need to attend to. And and uh, as we as we must look to keep improving the performance, obviously England will be a, pose a different challenge and fully respect the the, uh, the size that they have and the threats that they will pose. Thank you, Wayne. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Wayne. Will here. Hi, Will. Um, talk to us about Lewis. Um, how sensational, how special was that second try and for a 20-year-old to do that in only a second Six Nations game? Yeah, he's got the confidence, hasn't he, with ball in hand. He's, uh, he's got pace and you can't coach that. He's, he's very, very quick. He showed that and took that opportunity very well and the, the skill with the kick was, was magnificent. So, yeah, very pleased for him. Um, you know, he's, he's improving each week and... Uh, He'll keep working hard at his game and I'm sure we'll improve again. Um, it seemed that Wales have not lost their ability to stick in games. I mean, 14 points down, dragging it back. How pleased are you with that element of the performance? Yeah, very pleased. You know, the, uh, pleased for the players because they've worked so hard. Um, they've had a, a really good uh, two weeks in camp. And as I say, they've been in camp longer than they normally would be away from their families. And so... You know, a result like this in, in, a, in a tense game like that, it's, uh, you know, it's very pleasing um, for the coaching team and the, and the management to be able to send the players off for a couple of days off with a win like that and uh, to rejoin their families. Um, after the 2020 you had, uh, struggling to get wins, you're now two from two, bonus point win away at Scotland, you're top of the Six Nations table with a break before England. What have you done to kind of turn it around or is it the luck that's going your way? How do, would you sum that up? No, look, it's you know well documented what we did in the autumns, and that was with a view of the World Cup and building some depth. You saw today uh, the side that we put out. We've, we've had to call on some depth at six and in the midfield, and you know, everybody put their hand up when they needed to. So, look, we've just been busy working as a group. The uh, the atmosphere in the group, the environment at training, is a very good one. The senior players are leading very, very well, um, and so look, it's the, the guys are enjoying coming to work. I think, and we're certainly enjoying working with them. So. It's just a lot of work by a lot of individuals. It's not down to one or two people. It's it's a squad effort, um, and uh, yeah, just please. But look, it's a long way to go, and uh, we're very well aware of that. But we're certainly happy to have those nine points. Thank you. Uh, hi, Wayne. Um, if I could just get your your thoughts on on why um, Dan Bigger and Gareth Davis were brought off on 48 minutes. You don't normally see Dan coming off that early. No, I think it's a, it was a, well, we felt at the time a culmination of uh, a lot of rugby um, in the last few weeks. Uh, and just the way the game was going, we felt that we needed to change it up a little bit. And uh, Callum is a different type of player. And um, I think you saw that with some of the things that he was able to do. And look, as it turned out, we, we, we got a win. And so uh, everybody played their part. And certainly Kieran and uh, Callum did well when they, they came on.
He had a strong carry in the 22. We got quick ball off that. He ran, you know, with his footwork, he was able to take three defenders in quick ball and we scored a try. Get ourselves back into the game, really. Um, and then uh, he threw a nice pass. Uh, fantastic timing of the pass and the speed of the pass and the accuracy to put um, Louis Rizamit away. So, look, first up, very pleased for, uh, for Willis. Uh, just finally from me, um, I think it looked like Lee took a, a knock to the head in the first half. How is he, and, and given his, his history, is there any concern ar around his health at the moment? Uh, he's in the change room with the boys. Um, yeah, he uh, he failed his HI, obviously, so he didn't return, but uh, the medical boys will do their thing and keep a good eye on him, and uh, hopefully he'll be back uh, very shortly. Thanks, Wayne. My head. No, I'm not too sure, so we'll just have to see how they, they uh, come through in the next couple of days, but Certainly uh, nothing uh, nothing like we had last week. So hopefully, your fingers crossed, it's not too bad. I think it was evident for everyone there that it wasn't the complete performance. Um, you know, Al's talked about that in the changing room with, with a couple of people, and, and we'll we'll address our, our game over the next couple of weeks. But, um, you know, it's round two of the tournament, and uh, we'll expect to be improving each uh, each time we take the field. We corrected that. We'd um, you now be able to, to put, <coughs> excuse me, put the, the wrongs right, uh, uh, like you say, from last week. Um, it's a, and that's continual and incremental improvement that we'll, we'll continue to do. Happy with our, our, our Maldi because obviously they, they drove a lot against uh, England in their, their first game, so we had a, a bit of a focus on that. And um, you know, it's, it's something that we definitely have to keep on top on. But I'm happy with improvements, like you say, like I say. Hi, Alan. It's Alex here. Um, one of the one of the characteristics of the team under Warren was you sort of never say die attitude. You don't know when you're beaten. I mean, that's still in evidence, I guess. Um, yeah, the senior guys are still trying to put those performances in um, and, and lead by example. I'm very, uh, very privileged to work with a, a few senior guys that are uh, stepping to the breach um, and continue to add value um, as we've got a young <clears throat> set, set of players as well that are not afraid to, to take that leadership and, and set examples as well. Um, I think um, what you're seeing as well is a, is a product of um, the experimentation and the Nations Cup and the hurt potentially we took. Um, we're well aware that you know there's massive improvements. You can't, like I said earlier, give a, give uh, teams a two try lead. Um, but yeah, um, pleased with um, <clears throat> the resilience that we, we still have and the character that we're showing uh, and the pride in the jersey that we're obviously displaying. And just lastly, for me, you've talked about the improvements you can make. How how many more levels do, are there in this Welsh team? Do you think? Well, we we spoke yesterday about possession and and, and coming away and uh, with something. I think today we had possession in certain areas. We probably just just we weren't in the position to score, but we probably um, didn't use it as well as we could have. Um, it's, I know, I, I, I said it yesterday about the tide, and you know we've probably improved a set piece, um, and that carried us through. There's probably bits of the, our attack that um, we can get a bit more shape to, because um, um, we started well last week and we probably lost the way, um, you know, in that early first half. Thanks for your time. I'll, I'll just a quick one from me. You, you've ground out two two wins in the last two games. Do, do you feel like the progression for this side now is to perhaps may, almost make it a little bit easier for yourselves at times when, when you get a, a one man advantage? Yeah, there, there's a smile under there. I, I completely agree. I think, um, but even irrelevantly, the advantage. You know, um, I'd like to think today um, before the card we were in the ascendancy. We had a couple of good driving malls. Um, like as, as I said earlier, we probably fixed. Um, you know, 20% of what was, went wrong in our, our set piece last week. Um, but yeah, like I, I said, when we have possession, whether it's in our, our own 40, we've got to make sure we control the game and territory with that. And likewise, if we're in the opposition 30, we've got to come away with something, uh, which, which I, I thought we did in part today. We've just got to do more of it.